Hi, my name is Rachel Zelig, and today I'm going to take you through the proper application of the Opday. Um, as you can see, this is my bare skin. I have a lot of pigmentation. I always have this, but I'm pregnant right now, so my melasma is kind of on overdrive no matter how much SPF I try to use. So that's, you know, particularly what I'm trying to treat with my Opday. So the very first tip actually before we even get out the Opday is that you need to apply any skincare, liquid-based skincare, before the Opday. So each morning I use a serum. I'm quite generous because it's like, oh, let's just throw money at the problem here. <laughs> And then I use a moisturizer. The reason you want to do this before is that if you, you can't apply only liquid products afterwards or they're going to kind of displace the Opday Serum. So here I am, glowing, used all my favorite products. Now we're ready for Opday. Okay, so my Opday is ready. You can see I've got a nice full cartridge. The first tip I want to give you guys is just to use further light strokes. You really are just skimming the surface here. You don't need to push down, kind of like a paint roller, just going back and forth. Avoid picking up the update in between strokes. So. As you can see, I'm just kind of going back and forth. What I'm not doing is this or this. You can see I'm just going back and forth gently. So don't even worry, like you've seen, I've gone over spots a couple of times. It's not like I'm wasting formula because it only puts it where it's needed. And if it has enough on that spot, you're good. But if you still want some more coverage, just go for it. So this for me is like the perfect daytime look. I still use foundation sometimes at nighttime or when I want a more glam look. But for me, during the day, running around on Zooms, etc., this is the perfect amount of coverage. And you can still put on a little bit of blush and bronzer afterwards, which I'll show you in a second. That's part of the proper technique. But I love that I just look more even and I'm treating this pigmentation at the same time. Okay, so the final step in my morning makeup routine, makeup skincare routine, is that I'm gonna put on some blush. It's really important to use powder products on your face afterwards, not liquid products, because they'll kind of smudge around the serum and all that amazing work that Opti did to put the serum in exactly the right place will get undone. So just a little bit of blush, like so. Kind of nice going back to a powder blush, old school. I love to put even a little on my nose. Look at that youthful, sun-kissed look. And then same with any bronzer or contour. You're just gonna wanna use a powder product. Again, really light strokes so you're not messing anything up. Voila, I'm done for the day.